Hey guys, happy Thursday. I have a really fun throwback Thursday story for you. This is true. And at the time, I was surprised about this. But now that I think back to it, I should have not been that surprised because in high school, I was popular and I had a lot of friends, not to brag, but I was a nice girl and there were a lot of um, girls and stuff around that I was able to be friends with and some boys because we had things in common. So I'm going to go back to when I was, I think, a um, sophomore in high school because I think I was like 16. And this is like a month into starting my sophomore year of high school. I was new to this high school because I had um, just come back from where I lived at school before that when I went away for a year and a half. So that's why I was at this new high school. It's called Bartlett Learning Center, and I feel like I'm allowed to talk about it because that was like 20 years ago, and of course I no longer go there. They were voting for Homecoming Queen when it was time to find out all the girls that were up for Homecoming Queen. I was one of them, and I was really surprised because it was only my first month at this school. And I'm like, why are people voting for me? I was like, so shocked. This was one of the most surprised I've ever been in my life, at least at the time. And then when they would um, eliminate each girl that was up for it, I was in the top two and I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to win. I wonder if I'm going to win. Is this going to be it? Am I going to be the winner? I'm going to be so shocked. I don't think I'm going to win, but I'll be so shocked if I win. And it turns out the other girl won. But I was in the top two for Homer Coming Queen. My first year at that school. Also at that school, I did, um, for sports, I did. And I count it as a sport cheerleading and I remember one of the best parts was when we danced to NSYNC song I Need Love the teacher picked it out you'd think I did because I was the biggest NSYNC fan at least at their school so I was the one up for homecoming and the one up and I maybe all the girls but I know at least the top three we got flowers and at the time I was like trying to have this guy as my boyfriend we were kind of dating so he was my date for homecoming i remember wearing this beautiful um like lace blue dress it was kind of short but not too short and guess what i still have it and harmony has worn it and i'm gonna keep it because it's my good luck dress and my goal is to get in that size because it's probably like a size eight or so, so if I could find pictures I would love to share the pictures of me in it I would show you the dress right now but like I have so many clothes I don't want to go through all of it but that's the fun and great throwback Thursday story that I thought of doing today and I could totally see this happening to Harmony by the way my aunt my mom's sister, she was homecoming queen or prom queen, one of the two. And since prom is coming up soon, I thought I would throw in this one. I did go to prom for the same school, but I wasn't nominated for that one. I don't even remember um, the nominations for that one. So until next time, I hope you all are having a great week and I'll see you next time. Yeah, there was something shining on my face. And now I just want to dance. That's one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me, being the one up for Homecoming Queen. Peace, love, and harmony. I love you all more and lovelies. Thank you for stopping by.
I hope you enjoy this.